Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Talk About Nature. My name is Jen and today we're going to talk about sharks. So a lot of people find sharks to be quite scary but here at Let's Talk About Nature we love sharks and we've made this short video just to tell you how cool and how interesting they really are. Planet Earth has seven seas and sharks can be found in all of them. They are however split up into three different groups and these groups are tropical sharks which live in warmer waters near the equator which is around the middle of the earth, polar sharks which are sharks that live in very very cold water near the north and the south pole, and temperate sharks. These guys live in waters which are in between and it's these type of sharks that we're more likely to see in our own UK waters. Now we're going to talk about what a shark eats, but first, a small task for you. I want you to pause the video and I want you to write down or say all of the things that you think a shark would eat. When you're finished, click play again and see how many you get right. Ready? Okay, pause. Welcome back. Here is a list of some of the things that sharks will eat. Seals, sea lions, dolphins, smaller fish like tuna or mackerel, or even smaller sharks, rays, squids, turtles, and sometimes even smaller things like crabs. Did you get any of those? If you did, well done. So sharks eat meat, and as we all know, this makes them carnivores. But did you know that the two largest sharks on our planet are actually planktivores? This means they eat plankton, which is really, really tiny little creatures that you need a microscope to be able to see. And our planktivore sharks are actually really harmless. They are the largest fish in the sea, the whale shark, which you might recognise as Destiny in Finding Dory, and the basking shark, which can actually be spotted in UK waters. Now here's a long word, let's see if you know what it means. This word says camouflage. Do you know what that means? If you do, shout yes at the top of your voice! Camouflage is when an animal, or sometimes a human, blends in with its background so it can hardly be spotted. Just like these pictures here of this army man and this snow leopard. And believe it or not, sharks do have their own version of camouflage. Usually, they're darker on top, so if anybody is looking down on the shark, it blends in with the dark waters underneath it and they're light underneath, so if anyone is swimming underneath the shark looking up, it will blend in with the light from the sky above, and we call this counter shading. And this is something that a few different animals do, including penguins. Before we go on to show you some interesting shark species, we're going to talk about our top three shark facts. Number one, sharks may look really smooth and slippery in the water, but if you were to touch their skin, you'd notice it's actually quite rough like sandpaper. Number two, they can live for a really long time. In 2016, some Greenland sharks were guessed to be nearly 400 years old. Number three, sharks are always on the move. They never stop. Even though they live in the sea, they still need oxygen to survive. As they swim, oxygen bubbles in the water travel through the gills on the sides of their head and this helps them to breathe. So they have to swim, even while they're asleep, to stay alive. There are over 400 different species of sharks on our planet. And, as mentioned, we're going to show you some of the weird ones. The frilled shark. Called this because of the frilly gills around its head, it's really rare and lives really deep in the sea. Cookie cutter sharks. These guys are only small, but they get their name from the shape of their mouth. It bites in a perfect circle, like a cookie cutter. The hammerhead shark. Now a lot of people have heard of this one before, but did you know, because of the way that the eyes are set in the hammerhead's face, it can see almost 360 degrees all the way around it, except for a blind spot right in front of its face. Other interesting sharks include the pyjama shark, which is found in South Africa and looks like it's wearing stripy pyjamas. The spinner shark, found in American waters, and called that because of the way it spins straight out of the water when it's catching its prey. And the wobegong shark, from Australia. 
The word Wobegong is said to come from Australian Aboriginal language, which means shaggy beard. And I think you can see why. So did you learn lots? We hope so. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel here at Let's Talk About Nature. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Here we have daily jokes and lots of fun nature facts. Let's Talk About Nature is based in the south coast of the UK and available for in-person presentations, talks and workshops. To get in contact, please email us at letstalkaboutnature at hotmail.com. See you again soon.